Welcome to the launch of the 2021 All City Senior Portfolio Exhibition. My name is Lindsay Barlake Thornton and I'm the Assistant Director of Exhibitions here at the School of the Art Institute. A few things to mention before we begin. Uh, please use the YouTube live chat to engage with each other and give congrats to the incredible artists in this year's exhibition. Closed captioning is being live streamed to YouTube. Please note there is a significant delay between the speaker's voice and the caption text due to a broadcasting delay between our hosting platform and YouTube. For those that would prefer, the live transcript of tonight's event is also available. You can find this uh, below in the description under the video via a link. Thank you so much for joining tonight's virtual celebration and here we go. Hi, my name is Melissa Rutkelis, and I'm the manager of student programs within the Department of Arts Education in Chicago Public Schools. I'm so excited to see all of you joining us tonight. It seems we have 108 people watching us right now, so that's so exciting, and we uh, can't wait to share all the fun tonight. Hi, I'm Asia Mitchell, Executive Director of Undergraduate Admissions at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. I'm actually on campus in one of our gallery spaces. I just, I had to do it. Um, we're really excited. Again, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hi, 
My name is uh, Victoria Mack, and I'm currently a student at Ogden International. Hi, my name is Abigail Mansuri, and I am currently a student at Kenwood Academy. Hi, I'm Annie Loya, uh, Art Director of Design and Marketing at the Design Museum of Chicago, and we're very excited to be here tonight. Hello, I'm Cynthia Noble. I'm the Executive Director of Art on the Mart, and I'm also so happy to be with all of you this evening. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Jonathan Caraco and I am the Illinois Territory Manager in Undergraduate Admissions at SAIC, the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Uh, and I'm super excited to be here and I'm really excited and proud of all of you uh, for the work that you've done. And I'm excited to see what tonight brings. Hi everyone, I'm Nora Guerrero. I'm the Student Programs Coordinator with the Department of Arts Education in Chicago Public Schools. We're super happy and excited to be celebrating you tonight. And now here is Melissa with a couple more information on tonight's exhibition. Thanks, Nora. So I'd like to welcome all of the students, teachers, school leaders, parents and guardians and families and friends who have turned tuned in tonight for our virtual celebration for the All City Senior Portfolio Reception. While we would generally be eating quesadillas in the Neiman Center gathered together, I'm grateful for the team's resilience to work together to make this ac exhibition come together in a new way for all of you tonight. Today, you will be able to virtually visit over 200 students from over 40 CPS high schools artwork throughout our dedicated site that celebrates our Department of Arts Education student programs work. This of course could not happen without an incredible team. On behalf of CPS, I'm honored to work with the School of the Art Institute to provide an exhibition to celebrate students, their generosity with providing scholarships, and dedicating their exhibition staff to work on this year after year. We're excited to announce that this year we added the Design Museum of Chicago to our senior portfolio team. You'll get to meet many of them in our reception tonight. Still, I want to give a special thanks to Nora, Lindsay, Tanner, Lauren, Annie, and Asia for all their hard work and dedication to make what either, otherwise would be a barrier to turn into a reality. Later, you'll hear more about our exciting new collaboration with Art on the Mart, which allows this exhibition to soar to new heights this year. Congratulations again to all of the students who are involved. A special thank you goes out to the teachers and school leaders who support their students' arts education by encouraging their students to apply. We'd also like to thank all of the parents and families who have allowed their homes to turn into art studios throughout the past 10 months. Students, let's take a moment, moment to shout out a teacher or individual who supported your participation in this, in this exhibition in the chat. It's exciting. We're seeing so many names here. Awesome. I am now pleased to introduce you, introduce to you Asia Mitchell, Executive Director of Undergraduate Admissions. Thanks, Melissa. Um, again, congratulations. You're gonna hear that a lot tonight and you should, you should be proud. Um, I know this is a very challenging time, but it also, also should be exciting, um, an exciting period for you. And you should be very proud. You should be patting yourself on the back with two hands because despite um, the circumstances, not being in the classroom, not having access to studio spaces and supplies, not getting those in-person critiques and assistance with your art, you've made it this far, you're here, you took the leap of faith also, and you decided to participate in the All City Exhibition. And so you should be giving yourself a, a round of applause. Uh, we are all clapping for you. This is one of the, um, the happiest times of year for us. We all really look forward to the All City Exhibition. Of course, we wish we could be in person and we're usually filling up this gallery space on the first floor um, of our Sharp building um, here at 
36 South of Wabash. Um, but nonetheless, it's happening virtually. It's great. The work looks awesome. So round of applause to you all. And thank you so much for parents and teachers for your support of your students. Um, School of the Art Institute of Chicago has partnered with and supported um, Chicago Public Schools and the Department of Advanced Arts Education for over a decade. Um, it's been now over 15 years that we've partnered around the All City Exhibition. And one of our, our biggest ways of supporting and working with Chicago Public Schools and its students is scholarships. And so for students who participate in the All City Exhibition, um, as well as just other uh, avenues and those who apply to uh, the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, you will be awarded a $2,000 per year, so a total of $8,000 uh, competitive excellence scholarship. So again, just by participating in the All City Exhibition, when you apply to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, and when you are admitted to the institution, you would be receiving that $8,000 scholarship. There is no additional application. It's automatically um, awarded to you, and, and that is in addition to any federal aid, state aid, any other financial aid and merit scholarships that you're receiving that's on top of it. So um, again, you should be really excited about that. We will be in touch. We send you communication. We'll be sending you a letter. Um, Jonathan is here who you've met earlier. He is your point of contact. Um, he is someone who can walk you through the admissions process. Um, we work with students around critiquing and giving you feedback on your artist statements. We're giving you feedback on your artwork. There's a host of events that we offer to students that you can participate in throughout the spring semester. There is still time to apply to SAIC, so you absolutely can still apply um, and potentially be admitted for the fall semester. So please stay in touch with us and we will definitely walk you through um, that process. And also uh, the application fee for Chicago Public School students is waived. So I know parents are probably happy to hear that. You do not pay an application fee um, when you're applying to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. So again, thank you, congratulations. The hard work is, is behind you. Hopefully we'll see some of your applications for admissions for the fall uh, semester. And if you have questions, feel free to email us at admiss, A-D-M-I-S-S -S, at saic.edu and we will follow up with you. I am now going to turn it over to Victoria Mack and Abigail Moon Sarudi, two CPS seniors and artists who are in the exhibition and they will take it from here. Hi, um, I'm Victoria and I'm currently a senior at Ogden International. Um, my first experience with high quality art curriculum was in high school. I was also lucky enough to learn about the advanced arts program and have a chance to explore drawing and painting. The teachers that have inspired me throughout my journey are AAP teachers Alex Golden, Matt Bozick and Marjorie Boyles. The All City Senior Portfolio Exhibition is a great chance for students to present their work in a formal setting that also allows us to create new connections with other artists. I'm glad to be a part of it and I'm excited to see the variety of work from other creatives. The two artworks that have been selected mean a lot to me because they represent the start and continuous progression of my personal growth. My post high school plans are to go to college to study illustration and eventually pursue a career in art therapy. One of my pieces that is going to be pre presented is called Molt. It represents how I came to terms with my identity as a whole and how I'm excited to move on to see what other things I will learn about myself. Um, Next, we're gonna hear from Abby. Hello, my name is Abby Moon Sarudi and I'm currently a senior at Kenwood Academy High School. I've been in art classes throughout my entire high school career and I'm currently a third year at Gallery's Advanced Arts Program. The teachers who have been especially inspirational to me are my home art teacher, 
Matthew Mikowski, who taught AP drawing and painting at Kenwood, and my advanced arts program teachers, Alex Golden and Emily Steffen, who have helped me refine my skills and become a stronger artist. The All City Portfolio Exhibition showcases the variety of work done by CPS students, as well as showcases the students with different skill sets, skill sets and styles. I am excited to see the variety of art styles and creative processes of other students. In this exhibition, my first long animation piece is on display, which means a lot to me because animation is not often displayed at ex exhibitions like this and are not often appreciated compared to other mediums. My post high school plans are to be a high school art teacher and teach CPS students about sequential arts and the animation industry. I have currently been accepted into SAIC for college, but I am not committed to any colleges at the moment. Thank you for having us speak tonight and I hope you enjoy my piece, uh, Everything Stays. Everything stays right where you left it. Everything stays, but it still changes ever so slightly, daily and nightly, in little ways. When everything stays ever so slightly, daily and nightly, in little ways. Thank you so much, Victoria and Abby. Your work is beautiful. Uh, I'm Annie Loya from the Design Museum of Chicago. Uh, the Design Museum's mission is to educate, innovate, and foster innovation through design. Uh, this is our third year working with CPS, uh, Department of Arts Education, and our first year collaborating with SAIC. Uh, we're really excited to work with uh, both organizations. We've had such a, an amazing time uh, putting this together with both of you. Um, every year, the student work impresses and amazes us. Uh, as a part-time faculty member at SAIC in the Visual Communication Department, I think I can confidently say that the submissions that we saw this year were, uh, they demonstrated college-level creative thinking, just truly uh, full of talent, full of skill, and, and full of creativity. Uh, we're so happy to be a part of this exhibition and feature the next generation of artists and designers. Uh, and I'm going to show you a short video demonstrating the website, if I can get my tech working. Welcome to cpsallcityvisualarts.org. Tonight, we're launching the SAIC Senior Portfolio Show, which can be found in the Exhibitions dropdown in the upper navigation. If you're on mobile, this can be found in the hamburger menu in the right-hand corner of your screen. Once there, you'll see the entire collection of student work chosen for the exhibition. You can hover over an image to see the student's name and the name of the work. If you click into a piece, you can see more details about it including teacher name, grade, materials, dimensions, and an artist statement. You can also click the tags just below the student's name to explore the exhibition by category, medium, and school. Head back to the main 2021 Senior Portfolio page to also explore honorable mentions, as well as our scholarship winners. Want to look for a specific student or piece name? Click the magnifying glass in the navigation to do a site-wide search. You can head back to the home page by clicking the logo in the upper left-hand corner, or you can continue to explore the site by clicking through the right-hand navigation. All right, thank you so much, uh, and I will pass it over to Cynthia. Thank you, Annie. So I'm so excited to be here this evening to, to share a new opportunity that builds on the wonderful colla existing collaboration. Uh, the new opportunity uh, for some student artwork uh, to be selected to, present, to be presented on Art on the Mart. Art on the Mart is a public art platform for time-based media. And it was uh, established in September of 2018. We opened on September 29th that year to a crowd of 32,000 people. So perhaps some of you were even with us that evening or may have had the chance to, to see Art on the Mart uh, since then. Uh, and if not, or if you want just a little refresh, uh, we have a brief uh, video to show you of a recent uh, excerpt uh, from our fall 2020 program.
So uh, as you saw, we um, saw the work from Arts of Life, uh, which is an organization with whom we collaborated uh, for this fall presentation, and also a couple of works that uh, stills actually, quilts by the artist Bisa Butler, who has a major retrospective open at the Art Institute. And when the museum reopens on February 11th, um, I encourage you to see it if you haven't already. Um, and so what, what we're doing is taking either already existing moving image works or 2D works and then animating them and presenting them on this huge um, and historic facade. So the Mart is uh, formerly known as the Merchandise Mart. It's, you're probably familiar with this building that um, is in the River North neighborhood downtown. It sits on the, the river. And uh, on that river facade, we have a two and a half acre uh, blank canvas essentially that, uh, and just to wrap your head around that, um, that's larger than two football fields. So it's, it's enormous, it's a singular platform. Uh, the technology is really fascinating. It runs on a, a custom, um, projection system that includes 34 uh, Christie box projectors, uh, which allows us to project it over a million lumens um, onto the facade. And so it's, it's an incredible um, display and opportunity to, to uh, amplify your work. Um, so, so we've worked um, in other partnerships, uh, first and foremost with the, the City of Chicago Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events, which is our, is our kind of founding partner. And then we've had a number of content partners to date. Um, you've seen examples of that already with Arts of Life and Art Institute of Chicago. We've also recently worked with the Joffrey Ballet, Open the Circle Foundation, and now we're so delighted to uh, inaugurate this uh, partnership with Chicago Public Schools. Uh, so this is the first time we're working together. It's a project that's very dear to my heart as a CPS parent, and also I'm an alum of SAIC. And uh, through the MART, we also work closely with the Design Museum. So lots of wonderful connections here in this fantastic ecosystem that we have in Chicago for, for art and design. Um, as we partner with, with CPS, CPS is designing a, a, a selection process, essentially. And so uh, all students accepted to the senior portfolio exhibition or honorable mention portion will have their work juried a second time with the potential to be part of a, this new collaborative exhibition, uh, which we're entitling Hope is Light, Select Works from the Chicago Public Schools Class of 2021. And as Asia, you, you mentioned earlier, um, I, I just join you and uh, all of you in um, praising the incredible dedication uh, commitment, discipline, creativity, innovation, you students have shown through these incredibly challenging times. And um, at Art in the Mart, we just want to amplify that and celebrate that, celebrate all of you um, by dedicating some of our uh, platform time to, to high school senior work. Um, and by the way, I, when we saw the video, um, we, I wanted to keep it simple, but we, we do show work with audio too. So when, um, when work is on view, typically you would have the opportunity to experience audio, which is best heard um, on the jetty section of the river walk. So that area of the river walk that's just across the river from the mart between uh, Franklin and Well Streets. That's a great place to view the exhibition when you, when you come down eventually. Um, and also on, on Wacker Drive above, but, but the audio is, is there on, on the river walk. Uh, Art on the Mart's open nine months a year, so we're closed right now uh, for our regular winter maintenance uh, time, but we'll re be reopening April 1 with a new program, and then we are looking forward to launching some of your work uh, May 20th, already this spring, so just in time uh, to uh, celebrate seniors' graduations and again all of the great creativity and dedication you've demonstrated through these times. Uh, we are open, as I mentioned, nine months a year through, through the rest of this year. This particular exhibition will be open, uh, as I mentioned, launching May 20th uh, and will run through June 26th, seven nights a week. And we'll repeat it twice each evening. So it's a great opportunity to perhaps see your own work, to see the work of your friends, to see what's going on throughout the city, because it's going to be a really um, great process where we're looking at works from from all neighborhoods, all, all schools, and uh, we're just excited to see to see what comes about. Uh, and we, I want to just um, say that we hope this, that this is just really the first iteration of how we collaborate with CPS. Uh, uh, we can already dream and we invite you to join us in dreaming of, of what this can look like in the future um, with uh, continuing to work with 2D works of all media, but uh, perhaps in the future with 
uh, already existing time-based media works, uh, the, the possibilities are endless. And we look forward to um, inviting you into the process of um, creating this and, and creating this destination in Chicago uh, of Art on the Mart. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, so uh, I, I yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Cynthia. I I just want to take a moment for to allow all of us to to settle in to the image of the giant building with art on it, and that it could be one of you, that your piece that you created that is in this website right now could be one of those pieces selected. I, I I am so excited for you. I'm so excited at this opportunity. I'm excited that each year I get to um, be a part of this. We watch it grow and we watch more um, awesome partnerships um, come out of this exhibition. And the best part is, is that this is the graduating class of 2021 and you are the first to, to be able to launch this for the city of Chicago. So congratulations again um, to everyone involved in this evening. Um, it, it, it really takes a village and we, we really, um, we really are, are so grateful for all of you. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, um, our website is All City Arts, or our email is allcityarts at cps.edu, and we'll put that into the um, YouTube chat as well. Um, you can reach out to us anytime. Um, we look forward to seeing you at Art on the Mart in May, and we wish you the best of luck with your postgraduate plans. Good night, everyone.